What's up my captains and welcome to Honka Impact again. My name is Rami the Archer and today my friends we are going to take a look at the new Abyss Dirac C because I haven't made any videos about it actually so we are going to make this video about it and I will do some gameplay there and I will test my new triple S rank uh, uh, Miko there actually and we will see how strong she is and uh, I will explain some very important things about the Diraxi in case you didn't know about it so that you know about it actually and do it as perfect as possible. So without any more talking let's just get right into it. Alright, so here we go with the Diraxi as, as you can see and here the first thing that you need to know about actually is that all of the enemies that exist here you need to kill them, you have to kill them, otherwise you won't be able to kill the boss unless you are actually a very willing will. <laughs> <laughs> because you will have actually to kill all the of the enemies uh, in order to be able actually to uh, get uh, to get rid of the uh, boss that the boss get uh, in or uh, when the uh, enemies are still alive until there is actually one enemy alive the bo the boss will still have those buffs that will ruin your day actually <laughs> so make sure that you are done with all of the enemies and as you can see it is a little bit hard actually to kill them i know but the boss is way harder <laughs> so it's better to kill those guys instead of trying to kill the boss with those buffs actually so anyway as you can see the damage isn't actually that bad it is good but for a triple s rank valkyrie this is actually not that good but still you have to remember that i don't have actually any any equipments that are actually from uh, the gacha so yeah she is actually a full free to play uh, valkyrie right now and that's the damage she can deal now the second thing that you need to know about is actually this one this uh, this tower actually can uh, can be uh, switched off and on by using mag cards and yeah basically those can you can actually collect uh, in the Diraxi those are the mag cards as you can see and yeah basically when you are switching it off you are actually giving debuffs for the one that uh, switch it on because those people can actually uh, take some buffs from this one when you are switching it on like if you are the one that switched it on you will be able actually to uh, to avoid all of the traps you won't be able you won't be affected by any debuffs or any traps so right now i am going to switch this one off actually or on on yes perfect that's good we are going to switch it on actually and now we should not be able actually to uh, or we should not be affected by any traps so that would be good very good because we don't we don't need any traps uh, here because it is hard already <laughs> so as you can see it is very hard actually to do the Dirac C although I am only at the sinful ab uh, abyss and it, it is still very hard to do it however uh, if you if you aren't sure actually of how many uh, enemies you still have to kill uh, once you kill any enemy you will be able actually to see the number of enemies that are still here that you need to kill so that is very useful and very good actually and uh, yeah we will see right now once we clear this what I mean so I just hope that I can <laughs> come on already die <laughs> this is a little bit harder than what I thought actually uh, for the simple abyss actually but anyway we still got it <laughs> okay we at this rate we ain't gonna kill this this one we have to kill this one first because she is still 
Okay, well, I thought that the other one will revive before we kill her, but anyway. <laughs> As you can see, the HP is, a drop, is a dropping actually alone, so that's really awful as well and it is making the uh, the mission even harder <laughs> as you can see the progress is two out of five so i need to kill three more enemies in order to be able actually to uh, to uh, fight the boss without any buffs <laughs> the boss without any buffs <laughs> <laughs> that's very cool <laughs> anyway we need to kill actually all of the enemies so that we can be able to fight the boss uh, without actually any buffs that makes him very hard to kill and don't forget that once don't be afraid actually from uh, your HP because once you clear any of those bottles your HP will be uh, will be recovered to 100% uh, actually and your SP will be recovered to 90 so that is very nice actually and very helpful actually because if if it was if it wouldn't be revived to that number it would have been very hard to clear it actually they are very hard to clear and if we would have not be we would have not actually get our uh, hp back and uh, some sp as well back that would have make it very very crazy anyway now we are done with the third one very good and yeah we we need two to go actually and here as you can see there is some boxes and in inside those boxes sometimes you will you will find actually buffs sometimes you will find actually some traps that you can put them for uh, your enemies or for your fellow players <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you will find actually some mag cards as the ones that I used actually. So here we go with this one as well. And yeah, let's go on and finish him. Very good. <laughs> That's not bad actually. The damage on those guys is very good. But still it is because of the element advantage. So we ain't gonna count it at, as a very good actually damage. But... Oh, this is very good actually. The slash damage is just so amazing. But still, it is on a type advantage, so <laughs> it's not that good actually. Uh, we are going now to, f to find our enemy. Before you enter this this door actually you have to kill all of the of your enemies. <laughs> Don't forget that. Never enter it before you kill all of your enemies search for them search everywhere <laughs> all right it seems that our enemies are actually hiding somewhere <laughs> where are they all right let's take this box as well okay good we have so, uh, another mag card which is very useful nice there they are there they are Let's go on and kill them and finish this so that we can actually go to the boss and uh, so that I can show you uh, how to fight the boss as well and yeah basically uh, how they are. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's a little bit insane actually here. You need some good Valkyries to do those uh, missions but still as you can see now my SP is actually at 29 and as you can see it returned to uh, 90 because I finished the uh, uh, the fight. However, let's go on and go back from here because I think that it will be easier. Alright, let's do this. There is a lot of up and down. <laughs> let's turn this one as well out, uh, on actually. Very good. Now let's go on. Let's go on and find the boss. We killed all of the enemies so it should not be any problems actually with the boss. Yes, he will be strong because it, it, the, all of the boss are uh, all of the bosses are strong actually here in the Deraxi, but still uh, there is no buffs that they have actually from the enemies so or from the uh, monsters so there should not be any problems with this one 
and I think that we have the uh, oh no we don't have <laughs> I thought that we will have actually the element advantage but no we don't anyway let's go with the ultimate now and see if it will cause any good damage let's go with the slashes oh no that's not good at all god damn it <laughs> That's not a very good damage actually. Anyway, we showcased actually uh, our Miko, so let's go on and try to showcase this one actually. And as you can see, the damage, the amount of damage, this is just crazy, my boys. This is just crazy. This is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go with the ultimate and let's show this boy what we are made of. Okay, that's not <laughs> as a huge damage as I thought it would be, but anyway. Okay, I should have actually do it when when he was down like that without any armor or shield. But yeah, anyway, as you can see, the damage is just so crazy. <laughs> this is unbelievable, actually. This is just unbelievable. She is only at S rank, and she is way stronger than triple S rank Miko. And she is actually a free-to-play uh, Valkyrie as well, in case you want to know that. <laughs> she has only one... Uh, or wait a minute, actually I will go to the next area and then I will get out and take a look at her uh, at her equipment just in case I have changed something because I believe that she, she has only one stigma that is from the gacha actually nothing more but let's make sure actually so that I don't give you any uh, wrong uh, informations actually and so that I don't show you her as a very strong uh, Valkyrie while she has some uh, some uh, equipment from the uh, gacha. Let's... Let's... Alright, <laughs> I thought that we entered it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go here and take a look. The weapon is a free-to-play weapon. You can get it from the rights, from the Coop rights. And here the stigmas, yes. So there is actually two stigmas from the uh, gacha unfortunately it is the liar the, the liar scarlet which i wasn't happy with it but uh, but actually it showed itself as a very worthy uh, stigma and the second one is ekaterina which is a perfect actually one for the for her for uh, for knight squire because as you can see when the combo hit exceeds actually 40 uh, 40 counts uh, it gain uh, knight squire gains actually or any valkyrie gains 41 percent physical damage that's just crazy this is insane actually this is insane anyway this one is actually a free to play uh, valkyrie we get it from an event i don't remember which event we got it from but yeah basically we got it from an event actually and it is a full free to play uh, stigma so yeah basically as you saw she has actually two uh, sorry for that <laughs> she has actually two uh, f two stigmas from the uh, gacha but nothing more the weapon is a free to play uh, weapon and the third stigma is a free to play stigma let's take a look at our miko here as you can see here the weapon is a free to play weapon and unfortunately it's not that good as well and the stigmas are free to play stigmas you can buy them from the shop they they don't cost anything uh, anything high actually but they have some very good uh, abilities here as you can see on the left they have actually a very good set abilities and yeah basically their abilities as well are somehow good when the hit when the hit count exceeds 10 uh, you gain actually 15% movement speed and here 
when the hit count exceeds 20 you gain actually 41 percent defense that's not very good actually but this one is perfect actually when you when your combo hit exceeds 30 you gain actually 31 physical damage that's very good i know i need to to change this set actually but let me know your opinion about this set and if you have any other suggestions to put here to to get some more potential from Miko actually to make her stronger so yeah basically with that being said that was everything for today I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you got some useful information from it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and get some useful information from it and if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything you know about Hunkai Impact 3rd and with that being said see you as always in the next video of Hunkai Impact